the EBF Mares Handicap Hurdle is next, which is rather unsurprisingly a handicap hurdle for Mares. It's over two and a half miles. The top one is Cute Astrid for David Robertson, Grinder for Craig Beckwith, McLaren for Paul Rhodes, Fluvial for Vinnie Gerard, Beauty Queen Martin Leedham, La Paz Grape for Vinnie Gerard, and Arrakis Kuhn for Thomas Rogers. So just seven then, and away they go. Again, their way towards the first. Rakis Kuhn is the first one to show and gets over the first flight in the lead with a lead of about three lengths to Cute Astrid in second and Grinder on the outside of it in third. So on the inside of it is McLaren. They've got 11 flights to take all together in this one and this is the second of them. And they're all safely over that one then with Rakis Kuhn the leader from Cute Astrid. The rest of them are pretty much all in a line there with the exception of the back mark of Fluvial. So it's one at the front. And then five in a line, and then one at the back. It's Arrakis Kuhn who's going to come to the third and take it nicely in the lead with McLaren now just about showing in second. Beauty Queen's on the outside of Grinder, third and fourth. The two Vinnie Gerard horses wide on the track, La Paz, Grape, and Fluvial, and Cute Astrid in the turquoise and maroon hoops on the rail. So it's Arrakis Kuhn then, clear in front by about five or six lengths. Let's see McLaren and Beauty Queen. As they come down to the fourth and all over the fourth one, although La Paz Grape wasn't sort of perfect by any means and did his best to try and chuck the jockey over the front of his ears, but it didn't uh, quite pan out that way and the jockey stayed where he is supposed to be, firmly in the plate. And Arrakis Coon is the leader from McLaren second and Beauty Queen third and Grinder is fourth with Fluvial and Cute Astrid and then La Paz Grape who's recorded from that mistake and appears to be travelling well within himself as they come down to the next drop that one much better and we'll drop that one fine with the Rakis Kuhn the leader as they get out of that little pathway and they come past the winning post then and now they're going to swing right handed and go out for a complete circuit of the track with Arrakis Kuhn the leader by six to Beauty Queen and McLaren second and third. Then Grinder, Fluvial and Cute Astrid all in a line with just about three quarters of a length behind them. La Paz Grape, the last of the seven, but plenty close enough as long as that mistake hasn't taken too much out of it. But it's Arrakis Kuhn who's got an undisputed lead and nothing got near it so far. Beauty Queen and McLaren are the two closest I come to the next uh, Beauty Queen just out jump McLaren there in second Fluvi was back in fourth now the order's pretty much the same been pretty much the same throughout as Arrakis Kuhn comes down towards the next fence with a lead of about four lengths and gets over my fence it's a flight of hurdles and over it they go and Arrakis Kuhn in the lead Beauty Queen is second now Grinders moved up on the outside of McLaren who just hit a bit of a flat spot back in fourth then Fluvial on La Paz Grape has gone past Cute Astrid by about a nose but they're pretty tightly packed the main group they've just got to get to this leader Arrakis Kuhn they got over the eighth there and now Grinders the one that's coming out of the pack to make a forward move but it's Arrakis Kuhn who's still in the lead by about a length and three quarters to Grinder on the outside of Beauty Queen then McLaren it looks like it might have to pull off the fence then after that Cute Astrid and then the Vinnie Gerard pair at the back La Paz Grape and Fluvia the leader made a mistake at the third last there and that's presented the lead to McLaren who suddenly burst through like a Formula One machine and taking it up it's McLaren in front then from Grinder in second Beauty Queen and Arrakis Kuhn trying to come back then Cute Astrid and La Paz Grape Fluvia was the one that's hit the flat spot is now trying to run on but this is a wide open race you wouldn't rule anything out of this because Fluvial is still making ground at the back they're racing down towards the final two flights then now and it's Grinder who's taking it up Arrakis Kuhn trying to fight back on the inside McLaren's now back in third over that one they go then Beauty Queen and La Paz great but it's Grinder who looks like he's gone for home racing down there towards the final flight they've got a little more than two furlongs still to go and Grinder is the clear leader from McLaren in second Arrakis Kuhn back in third Beauty Queen running on again in fourth then La Paz great coming down towards this final 
off like then. Griner looking like he's probably only got to jump it. He's going well in the lead. McLaren is second. Arakis Kuhn is trying to fight back. Beauty Queen is wearing them down. And they're coming out of all this final flight. Griner's in front. Griner the leader from Arakis Kuhn. McLaren and Beauty Queen over that final flight. They go. And it's Griner who's got to hold on, I think. Griner's clear. Griner's well clear. Come on towards the line. Griner's going to take it. Beauty Queen is second. Arakis Kuhn third. Then McLaren and Fluvia on the path great. And finally, cute Astrid. Grinder grounded out, and I think with a longer running, Beauty Queen might well have got up. But Grinder is it by about three quarters of a length, I would say. Long time leader Arakis Coon back in third. Let's take a look at the result. It's Grinder the winner for Craig Beck with Beauty Queen second for Martin Leader. Arakis Coon for Thomas Rogers was third. McLaren for Paul Rhodes was fourth, and La Paz Great for Vinnie Gerard was fifth.